Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to set up, how to prepare the solutions you need for the Yeast Sphere Enzyme Lab. Now, this lab was developed by Pam Breyer, who's credited on the handout that's linked to do the Google Classroom. And I made a couple little changes to it, but this was all Pam's idea, and it's just a brilliant lab. My students love doing it. You can get at everything that's in the College Board's version of this lab, and I think even some more stuff. And it's cheaper, and it's a lot safer. The chemicals are a lot safer than what are in the College Board's version of it. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you and show you what you need for this lab. Okay, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to talk about how to make the two main solutions uh, you need. And that is you need to make a 2% sodium alginate solution. 2%, that's a weight to volume ratio. So that means you need 2 grams of sodium alginate for every 100 mils of water. Okay, you also need a 0.15 molar calcium lactate solution. Um, I'm going to make up 100 mils of it today. That is 3.27 grams per 100 mils. And how did I figure that out? Uh, the molar mass of calcium light and lactate is about 218 grams per mole. So if you do the math to make up 100 mils or 0.1 liters of a 0.15 molar solution with a molar mass of 218 grams per mole, it works out to be about 3.27 grams. All right, those are the first, those solutions, these two solutions you want to make up 48 hours, two days in advance of the lab. Okay, now let me show you where I get the sodium alginate and the calcium lactate from. And I'll put the links to where I found them and where you can buy them on Amazon um, in the comment section of the YouTube video. So if you take a look at this, hope you guys can see this. For about $17, you can buy a two pack that has 50, I think it's 50 grams, yeah, or 30 grams, 30 grams of sodium alginate. Oh, no, it's 50. 50 grams of sodium alginate and 50 grams of calcium lactate. Since you're only making a 2% sodium alginate solution, that 50 grams is going to be enough for you to make over two liters of the sodium alginate solution. So that is going to last you a really, really long time. Now, the calcium lactate, since uh, it has a molar mass of 218 grams per mole and you need a more concentrated solution of that, 50 grams is probably going to be enough for you to make, gosh, I don't know, probably around 300 or 400 mils of solution, but that's still going to last you for multiple classes. Um, in Pam's version of the lab, she uses calcium chloride, which is the way it was originally done, which works beautifully. Um, I changed to calcium lactate because calcium lactate is much safer. In fact, don't tell the kids this, but they could eat this and it would be okay. Uh, these are sold in a two-pack on Amazon from a company called Modernist Pantry. Apparently, there's this thing called uh, kitchen alchemy or something like that or... Um, and they use this to make flavor pearls, to make like little pearls, kind of like boba, of like gravies and sauces and stuff, okay? So uh, let's talk about the sodium alginate first. Now, the sodium alginate, when you put this in water, is a really viscous solution. So you don't want to make up a whole liter of it and then try to pour it out for every lab group, that's not gonna work well. So when I make this up with my students, I get a bunch of 150 or 200 mil beakers and I make up 100 mils for each lab station. And 100 mils of that solution is gonna be more than enough for three or four lab groups. So I'll have like two lab groups at each lab station, okay? So you wanna add 200, two grams of this to 100 mils of water. Okay, what you don't want to do is put it on a stir plate because what that does, you get this vortex going on the stir plate and all the powder clumps up in one big fat thick clump in the vortex and it doesn't dissolve. So what I do, I just put, and I'm going to show you the solution I just made up a few minutes ago. I just put 100 mils, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, 100 mils of water in the beaker, and then I just sprinkle the two grams of sodium alginate on top. And I did this about 15 minutes ago, and I don't know if you can see around the edges, it's already starting to dissolve. You do this two days ahead of the lab, and it's going to dissolve beautifully for you. I'm going to see if I can angle my camera so you can get a side view of this. No, that didn't work very well, but... 
Oh, well, but anyway, so I hope you get the idea there. So the key thing is for the uh, sodium alginate solution, you want to sprinkle the two grams on the surface of 100 mils of water in a 150 or 250 mil beaker, okay? Do this two days before the lab, okay? Calcium lactate, much easier to get in solution. Uh, this is what 3.27 grams of calcium lactate looks like, 100 mils of water. It actually is completely clear. It dissolves really super quickly. I just bake them both up on the same day, even though the calcium lactate goes into solution right away. Um, so that I just have them both handy there. Okay, what the sodium alginate and the calcium lactate are going to do, uh, alginate is a negative ion. Okay, the calcium lactate in water will dissociate and produce calcium ions. So what will happen, every calcium ion will bond with two alginate ions. So it's not exactly a polymerization reaction, but this is what causes the spheres to form. When you drop the alginate into the calcium lactate, uh, you'll see it start to polymerize, okay? The third solution you need and this needs to be made up fresh on the morning of the lab. The third and last solution you need for this lab is a 10% yeast solution. And that is 10 grams of yeast per 100 mils of water. And I just use a uh, Fleshman's Rapid Rise dry yeast that I get from the grocery store. I'm not gonna make that up today. I'm gonna wait until the morning we do the lab, okay? Because you want to have that stuff fresh. And then when you start the lab, well, I'll show you this in another video, but what you're going to do, you're going to do one part sodium alginate solution plus one part yeast solution. You're going to pour them in a cup or a beaker and mix them together. One part alginate plus one part yeast. Okay, one to one volume to volume ratio of those two things. Okay, mix them in a beaker. Then you're gonna take your syringe, you're gonna suction up this solution, and very slowly you're gonna let it drip out of the syringe into the calcium lactate solution. And as soon as this comes in contact with the calcium lactate, you'll see it polymerize, and each drop is gonna form really consistently sized yeast spheres. And the yeast is the enzyme for the lab. So that's how you make up the solution two grams of sodium alginate sprinkled over the top surface of 100 mils of water, and then 3.27 grams of calcium lactate in 100 mils of water. Then the morning of the lab, you're gonna add 10 grams of yeast to 100 mils of water. You're gonna mix one part of volume to volume ratio of one part alginate to one part yeast. What I usually do, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the 100 mils of sodium alginate solution, 100 mils of yeast solution, throw them in a bigger beaker and stir them up, suction it up with your syringe and put it drop by drop into the calcium lactate solution. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, so happy solution making. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, the balance I use at home. Let me go back to sharing my screen for a second. Uh, I got this balance on Amazon for $10.99, and it runs on two AAA batteries. It has a capacity of up to 500 grams, and it measures to the hundredths place. Now, this is accurate enough for what we're going to do in AP Bio. I don't think it'd be accurate enough for my chemistry class, especially if we were doing something quantitative. But, you know, something kind of handy to have at home if you're going to be demonstrating labs at home to your students. Um, if your school has a budget for it and you're thinking of sending home uh, boxes of lab supplies with students, this is something worth considering. All right. Okay. Uh, that's it for today. And have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.